hey, um, this is going to be more about AS and me. And um, I changed the camera angle because I, I was looking at the, the other videos and noticed that when I'm kind of hunched over, I appear to have a cancerous hump on my back and jowls, which may or may not be filled with venom. So I thought that might be kind of gross for you. So this the tripod is now sitting atop about a dozen copies of my first novel and I haven't shaved yet though. I'm going I'm hoping something interesting will happen with this, although I doubt it. But we'll see. Um my diagnosis was in August of last year, at the age of 27, about a month after my vision loss. I was enrolled in a substance abuse treatment program and I was talking to my therapist in there and after a couple of sessions he said look I think you have a disorder called Asperger's syndrome and obviously I was skeptical because I barely knew the guy he said my son has it and I've only diagnosed a couple of people in my career as having AS you definitely have AS still skeptical um, I told my mom about it and she went and you know, got bought a bunch of books, which is her response to everything. And I uh, did nothing. And she she started asking me questions from these books. And there was even a questionnaire in one of them that we went through. And the answer to everything was, yes, that's me. Suddenly, it was like these doors had been thrown open that I tried been trying to get through my whole life for to find out not only why I'm not like most people but why my efforts to be like most people have consistently failed is like I mean I you just you go from not knowing to knowing like that it's like Keanu Reeves learning kung fu which is the worst analogy ever but it's the only thing I can think of that applies. Sorry. Um, so then I went to my, my other therapist, and um, he, he said, well, there's, there's not a clinical test for someone your age. The test that they use for kids, there's like a cutoff, I think, in early adulthood for some reason, and... Um, he had me taken anyway just for fun and it scored I scored high probability but that's not a you know valid uh, test for me but I think he accepted the diagnosis as well so at that point I felt liberated I felt excited and you know, the fact that I found out I'm autistic wasn't really, didn't upset me, but the fact that it was Asperger's made me a little uneasy, and that's the reason I haven't talked about it until just the last couple of weeks, I haven't talked about it publicly, because I was aware of, of AS and what it was years ago, because I frequent the internet, and... A lot of people on the internet have AS or say they have AS. Um, like I said, there's no test if you're an adult. So a lot of adults who who um, label themselves as Aspies, which I will never use to describe myself, have come to that conclusion themselves after reading about it. It's, and I think a lot of people with self-identified AS do have it, but I think some other people don't, and I think they're being very irresponsible going around saying, hey, I have AS, that's why I'm socially retarded, both in the real world and on the internet. That's, I just don't think that's the case for every single one of you, especially those who spread misinformation like that people with AS, the AS is always characterized by above average intellect, 
which is not true. You know, that's when it starts to sound like someone's adopted it as a defense. And... Um... But I figured, you know... What... What am I going to gain? What good is it going to do me if I just remain in hiding about it? So, um, it's out there now, and you know, like I said in the last vlog, I'm going to I'm gonna write a book of, about it, sort of about it. Um, and talking about it, the first time I talked about it was on March 30th on a radio show, and just in the short time that I've been talking about it, it it's done a, a lot of good for me. And I think has actually kind of touched a few other people, which is very cool. So, it's something I have to do. Um, talked about my diagnosis. And the fact that I'm not, I'm not really dismayed that I have AS, but I don't take pride in it either the way that some people do. I'm not ashamed of it, but I'm not, it, you know, I don't feel like I'm a special butterfly. I, I'm just, I'm wired differently. You know, it's not a disease, it's, it's the way that you're programmed and some parts of it suck because I have a very natural need for, you know, human contact and socialization, and it's very hard. But on the other hand, if they had a pill that would cure it, I wouldn't take it because I would be really sort of terrified about how that might affect um, my creative drive. And, and my imagination, which is not to say that non-autistics don't have imagination or creativity, but I, it would, I know it would change. There would be some fundamental change, and I don't want that. I wouldn't even, it wouldn't just be that. There would be a fundamental change to everything. I wouldn't be the same person. And I can't go through life thinking, I wish I was a completely different person. You know, so you, you embrace what works for you, and you kind of deal with the bullshit that comes with it. And, um, and that's AS. Thanks for watching.